for example, we also helped uh, Oregon build a foundation. A small office in Issaquah is packed with a lot of support and memories. And this was the State Patrol Survivor Benefits. Of the wins for an organization called Behind the Badge that supports the families and departments of those who have lost their lives in the line of duty. Not only the, that immediate support, but ongoing long-term support. Vicki Stormo is the interim executive director and helps coordinate line of duty response teams deployed to assist those who have lost one of their own. It's a group of volunteers that come forward, they have different skill sets to help put the memorial together, uh, work with the families as they go through their grief, and work with law enforcement agencies as they go through their grief. Over the last month and a half, they've been helping out in Colorado. Yeah, it's really uh, sad. They've had three officers killed in line of duty in less than a month's time. It's just uh, horrible. So they helped them through the first one. Um, we were consulting with them on the second one, and then again, we're available to help them with the third one. Storo says the work is necessary, but tough. When you have a line of duty uh, death response team, it's a very exhausting process. There's very long days. Uh, you're, you're mourning yourself. Uh, so now you've had a second and a third one. So the team has got to be exhausted. For Stormo, showing up is not just about being there for those in your backyard. We're a law enforcement community across the nation. It's not just in each state or not just in a small community. It, there's impacts uh, across the nation as well. In Issaquah, Jenna Hanchard, King 5 News.